We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of the Spring Mills Cardinals, Marcus Law. Coach Law, regular season comes to an end. You guys get a 42-6 to win against Hedgesville. What were your takeaways from that game? Uh, boy, fought hard there. Um, definitely a physical contest there. Um, came in, boys executed the game plan on the three phases that we were looking for. And it gave us a chance to kind of make some of those corrections we saw from the previous week, uh, the far bye week, to kind of put uh, ourselves. But I'm definitely proud of those guys going in there. Uh, it's all tough. Man. It's one of those deals you can throw out the record and it, the football. And at the end of the regular season, your team finishes with a record of 8-2, and two, the best record at the end of the year for any Spring Mills football team in the school history. Just talk to us a little bit about that and how much it means to your program. Well, I'd say it means a lot, though. You know, it shows the progress that these kids are making and the sacrifice they're willing to do, you know, week in and week out. Um, definitely proud for our communities. It's something they can come to the games and be, and be proud of us. It's just one of those things you like putting out a good product out there. Um, it's, it's definitely been fun for the kids in the school, um, just the, our school spirit. Everything's been kind of increased with the stuff of our program. And with that, you guys get a home playoff game this week against a typical power in the state being Spring Valley. What have you seen from Spring Valley so far? Oh, they're big. They're very big. Uh, they're, they're talented. Uh, they've got some players, um, whether it's speed-wise, power-wise. Um, they'll do a lot of stuff offensively as far as moving guys around, uh, different formations. But, I mean, it's, it's a typical Spring Valley team. Um, they're, they're just going to run that power ball one way or another. What's your team need to do to get the win against Spring Valley? Well, I think it's, it's very important that we identify certain players out of Cardi out of the slot receiver and move it around um, defensively. we got to be able to rally to the ball and tackle and, and pretty much contain them in there. Offensively, it's always um, staying ahead of the chain. Uh, our offense tends to do a little better when we're kind of ahead of that, and we need guys to make plays. With the regular season coming to end, what are some things that you've really learned about your team so far at this point? Adversity, um, that, that's the biggest thing that sticks out. I mean, it just seems one of those things, though, week in and week out, something comes up, but these guys just typically find a way to um, to make things happen. So I'd say these guys are definitely immensely tough, and that's something I could definitely hang my hat on of being proud of these guys for. Taking a look around the rest of the playoffs, there are four teams out of the 16 in Class AAA out of the Eastern Panhandle Athletic Conference. Back-to-back years now that four teams have made it to the postseason. Just talk about how competitive the EPAC is and how tough it is around the state comparatively. Well, that's one of the things we talked to begin this season at, uh, at our EPAC meetings. There, that uh, there's a lot of a lot of uh, athletic kids and, and kids who have certain skill sets within our um, within our conference. Um, once you get through those non-conference games, it's, it is a toss up week in week out. Um, you're having your guys mentally ready to play a football game because there's no easy outing. So it's something we take pride on on the Eastern Bay Handle um, with, our, with our with our teams there being able to compete not amongst ourselves but across the state as well. How do you make sure that your team, I guess, is in the right mindset for this situation? Because, yes, at one part, it's still just a regular football game. But on the other side, how do you make sure that the nerves don't build up the fact with a playoff game being at home and this and that? Well, one of the things we've kind of done is, is really intensify the practice level a little bit, try to get them used to um, used to the fact that the game's going to be harder. We always strongly believe that if your practice is hard in your games, then you're going to go out there. Now, there, there are going to be some nerves, but hopefully within the first series, so we get those things to settle down and start playing our brand of football. All righty, Coach. Any final thoughts on the matchup before we get to our fun question for the week? Oh, just look forward to the opportunity. Uh, like I said, Spring Valley is a great team, great program. I put a lot of guys in, in the uh, Division One level there. So we look forward to kind of, again, see where we are as a program and, and hopefully come out up there. All right, let's get to the fun question of the week now. And for you, it's kind of a little bit different because most of it is already known. But for those that maybe don't know, just tell us about uh, growing up, what sports you played in college, um, 
a little bit about your days at WVU being a defensive back as well as a favorite memory. All right. I grew up uh, pretty much playing football. And that was a gimmick for me. Wrestling it, uh, was my main two sports. Uh, fortunate enough to be able to, to go to Western University um, and play with the Mountaineers and the Big East uh, for our conference there. I learned a lot uh, from some of the guys, Jamal Dye, um, uh, and those guys there took me under their wings and helped me learn the game. One of the things I found out is it's a little bit different from high school to college. The game, the speed of it is so much more faster there. Um, but, yeah, I was fortunate enough to, to play five years for the Mountaineers. Um, had some great games for the Sugar Bowl and, and won our last one against Georgia Tech there. Always kind of fun. I part the people that we got to play against Calvin Johnson there, which is a tremendous talent and, and definitely something that was kind of interesting to go against him. All righty, Coach Law, appreciate the time, and good luck on Friday against Spring Valley, sir. Thank you. Sir.